Good afternoon, guys. I'm Chris Gonzalez. And I'm Anthony Coleman. And thank you guys for tuning back into my GSPN recap where we talk high school sports. And as you know, the show is brought to you by GardenGrocery.com and Salumi Digital Marketing. That's right, Anthony, our beautiful sponsors. And we have a very exciting show for you guys today, That's highlighting right. some of the games that we were at earlier this week and last night. But before we get into the action, I want you guys to go ahead and make sure that you're following us along on all of our social media platforms to stay up to date with the hottest coverage in high school sports. But guys, Anthony and I, if you haven't been following us along on social media like you should be, like you should we, be. Were, <laughs> we were at the 7A District 3 uh, tournament earlier this week. We were there Monday and Wednesday night. The games Wednesday were absolutely insane. Crazy. First up on the schedule, it was Okoe taking on West Orange and Okoe actually came up with the win 57 to 50 in the 7A3 semifinal. The Knights were led in scoring by Hofstra commit David Green. He exploded for 26 points in this game, and senior guard Sadim Blake dropped 17 in Okoe's win. Now, the Knights are going to be moving on to tonight's district championship, and this is going to be back-to-back -back district title game appearances for Okoe. Last season, they came up short against Windermere, who made a state Final Four appearance. This year could be a very different story for Okoe, though. They're one of the favorites to make a deep push in the playoffs, and I would not be surprised if we see the Knights in Lakeland this year. They are currently riding a 12-game win streak and are sitting at 20-6 and six on the season. Yeah, they've been going off this year. 12 straight games. It feels like all the big men have really like been connecting. Right. And then with Sadim leading the point guard spot, too, it's been really great for them in that game against West Orange. Even though West Orange played a great game, Mike McAllister did all he could, finished with 23 points and 10 boards. It's just too big. Okoye's is way too big down low. Austin's been doing this thing. Cordell's been doing this thing. Right. So they've been playing amazing. So Okoye's definitely one of the favorites to go deep and probably win state, man. Yeah, no, for sure. They're definitely one of my favorites to make it, again, that deep push into the playoffs. Uh, we did have a bit of a little bit of a scary sight at that game. Oh, yeah. Uh, late, I think there was about 11 seconds left in the game. Uh, West Orange forward Marcus Allen went down. He was motionless on the ground for about 15 minutes. Uh, had to be stretched out, but we got good news that same night. He was walking on his own and he got released from the hospital that night. So prayers up to a speedy recovery. I hope to see you guys back in the regional playoffs with West Orange. And actually uh, this next game that we're going to be talking about, there's five teams from 7A District 3 that are going to be in regionals uh, this year. So that's a very, very, very stacked district right there. Next up on the night was Dr. Phillips taking on host school Apopka. Now, they faced off in an instant classic. This game literally went down to the wire. The Panthers, however, came out on top in the end to advance to the district championship game after a hard-fought win over a pop. The final score, 58-56. to 56. Sophomore guard Denzel Aberdeen for Dr. Phillips scored 26 points, and Abdullah Tim he added in 16 points in the win. Dr. Phillips is now riding a three-game win streak, and we had the chance to catch up with Coach Ben Witherspoon after the game. Here's what he had to say. Um, we're really young, um, and, and all of our guys have just gotten so much better. Uh, Ernest Uday is a 6'9 sophomore. Uh, he didn't play much last year at all uh, as a freshman on varsity, um, and he is a, an enforcer right now. Nobody wants to drive the ball in the paint. Uh, he's dunking plays, finishing, uh, finishing um, everything he gets, and, and he has just stepped forward immensely. I am so hard on him, uh, and he just responds and responds and responds. I, the sky's the limit for him. Uh, Denzel Aberdeen, sophomore, young, figuring things out, um, and you see tonight he's hitting big shot after big shot. He's not scared of the moment. Uh, lucky to have him um, so it you know that, that's those two guys but our whole team has just taken so many steps forward um, because we're a growth mindset program and our focus is on getting better every day maximum daily improvement yeah those are great words by coach and his daughter there in the interview but it's been great to see such a young team connect so much and do so well in the district tournament from where they were early in the season for them how they are now right. and then when Denzel him going off like that I believe he had 12 points in the third quarter after the team only scored two points in the second quarter right and we even talked to him after the two like so did coach tell you to go off or did you just go off by yourself it was my time I just felt like it was my time Coach Witherspoon really in that interview talks about how hard he is on Denzel and Ernest it's going to be crazy to see how these players progress and what they become into their scene I mean fast forwarding into two years when they do become seniors because um, right now they're absolutely going off as sophomores. Monsters. So, so once they, they have another growth spurt to hit, mm. especially Denzel. Already 6'8 sophomore. That's I what mean, I'm saying. Damn, I mean, <laughs> wonder how big it can get after that, man. Yeah. <laughs> At least seven foot, maybe seven foot. That's right. Uh, but Coach Witherspoon is doing a very great job with those two and his entire team at that. Uh, but this is going to set up tonight for Dr. Phillips taking on Okoe in the district title game. Anthony, who you got in this one? Um, it's going to be a close one. I don't know who to pick on this one. You know, Okoe. 
Yeah, Stephen Tuck. Corey has all the height on there, but Denzel's really been doing his thing, and Coach Willisman has been getting guys together. I have DP taking you this Dr. one. Phillips taking this Dr. one. I got Dr. Phillips taking this one. All home, right, so. all right. Very bold prediction. I'm going to stick with the Knights, man. They're okay. on a 12-game win streak. Those big three down low, Cordell Brown, David Green, and Austin Andrews, I feel it's like gonna are going to be able to go ahead. They, they do have their hands full in earnest and Abdul team down there as well. But I'm going to take Okoe winning tonight. Again, it's going to be one of those games where it's going to go down to the wire. Down to the I have last Okoe bucket. winning by about three points. But we shall see, man. It's going to be very exciting to see tonight. And again, Apopka High School, 7 o'clock. You guys do not want to miss that game. Anthony, that's our show for today. That's it. We want to go ahead and thank our sponsors, GardenGrocer.com. If you are staying in the Orlando area at one of the Disney resorts, place an order for groceries to be delivered to your room at the time of checking. Save money and time by shopping with Garden Grocer. And also, you discover Florida. If you're looking for a new restaurant, hotel, or attraction, check them out on Instagram at youdiscoverflorida or youdiscoverflorida.com. And once again, guys, I'm Chris Gonzalez. And I'm Anthony Coleman. Thank you guys for tuning back in to my GSPN recap and my GSPN game day. As always, you guys know, it's your sports, all, all you, you, all the time.